Um, anybody who said they were interested in uh, engineering, I would definitely tell them to come to this camp just so you can uh, make sure that that's what you want to go into because uh, it's pretty easy to make a decision when you're when you, like you don't know a lot. But after coming here, like I learned so many things. Well, camp overall was just to um, let students get a feel for what different types of engineering are, you know, not knowing what specifically a mechanical engineer does as opposed to an industrial or an electrical. Knowing those small differences could make a huge difference in which area you choose. The engineering culture at Mizzou is uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> they pretty much act like they're the big men on campus. From what I can tell, it's, they're having a lot of fun in their um, degrees, and it's a lot of work, definitely, and that's what they'll all tell you. But um, all of them seem to enjoy what they're doing and have a purpose at it. Uh, we'd go to breakfast. We'd head from breakfast straight to Engineering Building West, where every morning one of the counselors gave a presentation on their own major. Um, it was everything from audio video editing and effects to I'm a mechanical engineer and I like to build bridges. So it was quite interesting and they got a perspective from us that I don't think they expected to get. And then the early afternoon they would do another lecture type with another department followed with an activity and we'd have dinner and then sometimes there would be something like one night we went bowling, one night we did swimming, we did lots of fun things. Um, one night we went to Shakespeare's for dinner and that was very, very cool. Okay. All right, well we've got a program in the Navy that you can go to, go to our nuclear engineer school, provided you qualify, get all your school paid for, 100% tuition assistance. And then they'd round out the evening with some bridge making. Each night they had to have a different milestone completed. So the very first night they got on the computers and they designed a bridge on the computer so that it would withstand weight. And then the second day they drew it out, the third day they started cutting, the fourth day they started building, and the fifth day they were done. Yeah, I think you get a pretty good feel for dorm life. Like, you go and you work for several hours, you eat lunch and stuff, and then um, you get a little free time, and then you have to go back to working, and then you go to bed late, so it's kind of like, it feels kind of like dorm life. I mean, what I think it would be. My favorite activity was definitely the wind blast. It just made me realize like how much structure is so important to make a good and feasible product. On the left atrium, it goes through the bicuspid valve. The reason why it's called bicuspid is that the tricuspid is has two flaps rather than three. Well, we went in and they had the pig, pig's heart laid out there, and they talked all about like which valves went where and. Um, what they would, what a biological engineer would do, like how they would fix like certain valves and stuff like that. And um, then they let us put like gloves on and we got to pick it up and we got to look at the, all the valves and stuff for ourselves. Well, we started off with like um, different like lectures and people came in and talked to us and then we had Burns and McDonald there, which was pretty exciting and pretty cool to see. I found out about different majors that you can go into engineering. I found out about internships, that you can actually become an intern for different companies like Black & Beach, Cerner, and you can get paid even as a freshman. Yeah, they learned, yeah, you're gonna have to do math, yeah, you're gonna have to do science, but in the end, it's totally worth it. Um, through the camp, I realized that there are like so many interesting things here. I kind of like want a piece of everything, so I guess it's just that Mizzou offers so much that it's kind of like, what should I pick and is it for me? They got to see not only us in action, but professors in action, and um, they got to make their own projects, got to see what team building is all about. They just got an opportunity that is pretty rare. It was really nice knowing that the class was still like pretty small, so I can like be comfortable there and not feel overwhelmed. And after talking to some of the teachers, I know that they love what they do, and they're not just here to like talk and go home. They're really here to like teach us stuff and make sure that we learn. Well, I honestly didn't know anyone because I came from Wichita, Kansas. Most of them came from Missouri, but I feel comfortable around them. They're not like excluding anyone. 
Even though it's diverse, everyone's like a pretty good community. They accept everyone, which is good. Yeah, I've made I've made a lot of friends here. I could I was thinking to myself, yeah, if I what kind of people I'd be in classes with if I went to engineering, if this is a sample of what they're like, then yeah, I'm excited for it. The counselors are awesome. We had free time today and I think I spent like 90% of it sitting there talking to the Matt. They're all really enthusiastic about their degree. We like to talk a lot. We, we kept telling the kids that like, we like to talk a lot. And they've all got different ones, so they're all trying to almost like sell it to you. So it's really funny and they're really approachable for questions about, specific questions about classes or degrees or whatever. Um, probably the best advice that I got from the counselors was uh, if you just do the work and just pay attention to class, then uh, nothing should be too hard. And even though it is a big campus, all of the teachers uh, are pretty open to talk to. Camp is just great at showing that Mizzou Engineering is not boring. It's not stuffy. It's not all glasses and big shoes. It's fun. It's just fun to meet new people here. Like, it's great that they have the same interests as me and then that we're, we have the same mindset about the future. Yeah, I think after this, you gotta build another thing. It'd be a lot easier because you know what you're doing now, you have experience. But it's, it's fun if you look back on it, just stress a lot of time.